I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path. I will hear. Early in my life, before I was a Valkyrie, I was a healer in a small village. My father trained me in the use of herbs and natural remedies. To him, coming from a long line of herbal healers, that was the only true medicine. But visiting the city, I saw healers who used magic. Only magic to treat their patients. I'd seen it work. And work wonders. I tried to tell my father, but he said mage healing was against his philosophy. The dangerous shortcut that violated tradition. Being a good daughter, I respected his convictions. But that all changed when he took ill. That's a good place to stop for now. I'll tell you more of my story now, if you care to hear it. You may speak. If you remember, my father had fallen ill. It was bad. An illness unknown to us. I offered to fetch the mage healer from the city, but my father refused. He insisted herbs were the only way to help him. You can guess what happened next. He was gone before the spring. I was devastated. In time, I grew to hate my father's philosophy and dedicated myself to healing through magic. It was a blind rejection of an entire field because I believed it failed my father, because I blamed his death on his faith. But I traded one limiting perspective for another, but I wasn't ready to see that yet. That's a good place to stop for now. Hmm. Would you care to hear more of my story? I am listening. If you remember, I had shunned my father's herbal medicine after it failed to save him. I left my village and moved to the city. I scraped and scrounged, managed to survive, and became an apprentice to a renowned mage healer. I soaked up everything I could from her, and I was a natural, it turns out. Shutting my father's legacy came easy. In fact, I'd acquired quite the distaste for it. I cut herbal medicine out of my life completely. It was this rigidness that would prove the biggest mistake of my life. But I'll stop there for now. <clears throat> I'll tell you the next part of my story now, if you'll listen. I will hear. Last thing I told you was that I'd become an apprentice to a mage healer of renown. I learned much from her, not just about the healing arts, but about how to live a complete life, a whole life, true to yourself. She was like a mother to me which made it all the more painful when she too fell ill. It was the same illness that had taken my father. But this time would be different. It was my chance to apply everything she taught me to try and save her. Anyway, I think that's a good place to pause my story. Hmm. I can continue my story now. Proceed. If you'll remember, my teacher had fallen ill. Everything she taught me poured into trying to save her. But it turned out mage healing wasn't enough. I realized that only a combination of mage healing and herbal traditions could save her. But I'd let my knowledge of the herbal arts fade away. And so, I failed her like I failed him. And she passed into hell's embrace. It took a long time to get over that. Anyway, I'll stop here for now. I'd like to finish my story for you now. Proceed. As you recall, I failed my teacher and wasn't able to save her life. I'd let my aversion to my father's tradition stop me from being able to adapt to circumstances. After that, I spent many winters reconstructing his teachings, integrating them into my arsenal. I realized how important it was for me to practice techniques that don't come easy to me or even ones I have every reason to hate and reject. Because then, then I'm armed for everything. Then I can adapt to whatever life throws at me. Anyway, that's my story. Thank you, Air. I understand. <laughs>